All right, back on uh, this clay to finish it up uh, for the foundry, which I'm going to take it to tomorrow. It's got just a little bit more work on. I got tail, I got the mane. Um, trying to decide what I want to do. The other horse's leg is bent. This one isn't. No, I'm just going to finish it. it. I can't have both horses doing ex almost exactly the same thing. So, uh, all right, I'm going to work on the uh, mane and the tail, and then I'll be back. Okay, using these uh, calipers that were sent to me by uh, a friend in Texas, I've uh, plotted out the uh, stripe on the blanket. Um, it's, it's a Hudson Bay blanket or a trade blanket. Um, and uh, so what I'm going to do right now is put a different texture where the stripe will be. And the stripe would be black and the blanket might be green, uh, kind of a forest green or it might be a gray. It's just a uh, trade blanket. Now, if I do this a uh, traditional patina, this will show a little bit of a difference in color because of the uh, changing of the uh, texture. It just gives it a different uh, look. Yesterday I got a email from a person who bought my DVDs, my instructional DVDs, and he asked me, why are you giving away information that I'm paying good money for? I had no answer. I've been doing it for so long, I just uh, never really thought about it. So, I guess in the future I'm going to have to do little segments of video show me working on things, but without, you know, giving away the farm, so to speak. And he really has a point. I mean, people pay good money to take a workshop with me. And, uh... Why do that if uh, everything I'm going to show them how to do, I can do, they can see for free on YouTube. And it's the way I make my living. And uh, they all got a point. So, I guess in the future I'm going to show less of what I'm doing and just showing you highlights without, so to speak, giving away the farm. I don't like doing that because I've enjoyed sharing my knowledge with everybody for free, but people who pay for this stuff have a, have a right to know that what they're paying for is exclusive to them. So from now on, if you see something that you uh, find interesting and want to know more about how to do it, you 
might have to spend a little bit of money and get one of my instructional DVDs. It's just the facts of life. I gotta pay my bills and if I can't then I can't be on internet and if I can't be on internet you won't see anything. So I hope you all understand. I'm very sorry but uh, It's going to have to be in the future, I suppose. But for those of you who aren't interested in sculpting and just want to see what I'm doing, you'll still have that opportunity. All right, I'll be right back. What I'm doing right now is uh, the Indians would tie a rope around the jaw of uh, the horse and uh, all I'm doing is adding now this one would be a double rein in other words it would be a loop uh, rope on attached to this uh, mouth rope and I just went in and checked my reference. I've got a picture of uh, Michael Terry, or Bad, Michael Badhand. And uh, all I'm doing is taking that and attaching it to his hand. Yes, I can. Ah. Okay, I gotta hold on to the hand because it wants to move up. And if you remember, I had to reconnect that hand, so or the arm. I'm gonna cut off the. Uh, Thing. I want to make it look like it's going through the hair of the horse. There we go. Now, they won't cast this rope. They will use this as a guide for making a rope out of a twisted uh, bronze wire that will be it'll look just like rope except it'll be bronze I got a photograph of Michael in uh, the Little Bighorn River back on his horse just like this. Now, this will be the last thing I do before, well actually I got some filling in to do underneath this uh, strap here. Actually, I wonder if it would be better to have the wind catching that rope. There we go. I think 
detail, show them pretty much what I want. All right, I gotta hit this with a some lighter fluid to soften up the uh, lines a little bit where they need to be softened and uh, clean up areas that need to be cleaned up. And that will, that will finish this piece and I'll combine it with the other one and get it ready to be delivered to the foundry tomorrow. ready to put it together. Oh. Pick up this clay very gin early. signing this, but uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I might take this screw and use it to sign. The signature I'm making here is one I came up with back in high school, back in 1964 and 5. It has, it reflects that period, it's a kind of a, a uh, hippie type lettering that I came up with back then. It was popular and I've stuck with it. All right, let's take the excess clay off. Put my copyright. That's good for my lifetime and for 50 years after I pass away. Being that I'm 71 and going on 72, that's pretty cool. Alright, I can't remember what the edition number is. I'll put that on tomorrow. All right, that's a uh, approaching storm, signed and finished. I'll do some touch-up at the foundry tomorrow, but uh, basically it's done. I gotta find out from them before I finish it up uh, what exactly I need to do to finish it up. Uh, I got the reins on it, the uh, sculpture's finished. And uh, I'm, I'm totally happy with it. Totally. I love the way the tails turned out. And uh, I'll take uh, my lighter fluid with me to the foundry just to touch it up if I need to at the foundry. All right, everybody. And uh, I might be doing a, uh, my next uh, piece, maybe a, a Viking. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to be requested to uh, do a Viking for an instructional DVD. I've already done a bust of a Viking and uh, it got incredible interest on YouTube. So I think that might be the next uh, instructional DVD is uh, a Viking, full length Viking. I've been doing research for it too. All right, uh, good night. And uh, see you next time. Give me a thumbs up.
and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.